Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always I also publish on Rumble uh, seems to be in order everything like maximum one delay one day delay uh, but yeah, I already have like a new playlist for the XCOM 2 and I will uh, start doing like um, one episode per day instead of having like one episode one day off then another episode and so forth and so on I, I will be doing um, one per day i think i can manage this so today i'm going to launch the second episode from the evil within 2 or else we will start getting like too many days off of each episode uh, and, uh, and i don't like that um in the meantime uh, i will it will take a little bit more, more like three days or so for me to record the first uh, XCOM 2 episode because we got a lot of introductory stuff on the first episode regarding like the mod stuff and and how to set up the campaign so it doesn't get like bugged out and stuff like that uh, but yeah uh, regard uh, but regarding the other two uh, i've got some backlog uh, recordings here so everything will be uh, kind of okay so no problem at all regarding that so let's get started not much happening but uh, it is what it is seems like we have um, a sus kind of evangelion theme kind of stuff here they they make here the highlight of the 4090 uh, which is a, a crime against humanity regarding price to $2,500 basically <laughs> I don't know uh, the, 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 I don't know this the the reference card is uh, 1600 I think it's like it's like another computer to to just to have this kind of a thing I, I, I really don't understand the, 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 these people think really people don't have uh, people have like money hidden and then don't want to spend and uh, they think with this the people will start spending money um it's kind of okay i like evangelion um uh the this zero two is uh more aggressive the the the, the designs and, and the themes even in the anime series she's, she's quite aggressive at the beginning when she appears um but yeah uh, it, 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 it it's visual here but it, for me it doesn't compensate the fact that it overcharged these kind of things uh, all over the place uh, uh the mouse not pretty impressive the case i don't like the case the, the 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 overall design of the case itself i don't like this kind of uh it doesn't seem like a case here um but yeah uh keyboard i don't like this kind of keyboards also uh, but yeah the the it's okay in terms of design but again uh 2400 dollars uh it, it's too much for a gpu uh it, it's on the borders uh i'm not sure if it is it's more expensive from my uh, current setup and my current setup, uh, I've got everything monitored, uh, the case, uh, the, the coolers, the, the CPUs, the GPUs, the, the NVMEs, keyboards, mouse. I got everything for, for less than this money. Um, but yeah, it, 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 I don't know what's happening in, in the minds of these guys. Uh, they, they, they think people have uh, nothing else to spend money on. Uh, even though I like Evangelion, it, it could be any kind of, uh, I don't know, um, any kind of theme that I love so much, but uh, could be even like an Elden Ring theme or, or a Dark Souls theme or like Metal Gear Solid theme. I, I, I will not buy the, the uh, overcharging the, like almost uh, it's not uh, almost double the price, but it's not that far. Um, but yeah, uh, sad news here. This is this is not worth it. I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know this is not worth it. Uh, but we got some decent news from um, from gaming. Uh, mostly regarding cyberpunk and the mods stuff here uh, I think in the next few months we're going to talk a lot about mods uh, mainly because of uh, the cyberpunk Phantom Liberty and of course Starfield uh, already some mods launched uh, this one is uh, from the rework project 2 uh, guy uh, how he calls himself um, it's very well known this uh, kind of a uh, thing here um, According to the modder, uh, I forgot to highlight it here. I'm so sorry. Hulk Hogan, here it is. Um, the, the guy did a, an excellent work uh, with this within the same name, a reworked project for textures for uh, The Witcher 3. I, I think I played one of the um, uh, one of the the, the 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 runs that I did with Witcher 3. I think I did it with this with this mod, if not mistaken. I don't remember which version of the mod i don't remember if it was like the balance of the the i don't know i, I know I, I think i did it because i wanted some uh, like 
run with some textures and we have like the the second ver the project 2.0 for cyberpunk 2077 um again this is going to be an improvement of the, the already uh, previous version as you can see he did uh, like a, a trailer showing up uh, like the the, the enhancements that he made and i think this should be uh, in compliance with uh, i'm not sure with phantom liberty i'm not sure um but yeah uh it's good to see that uh, this this kind of things on the mod community continues to work um for sure there is a tons of mods for uh 2077 for cyberpunk um i'm not in too much in the cyberpunk stuff uh, mainly because i didn't play any of the the game i don't have the game uh, for uh, but i have with the witcher 3 and i'm planning it's kind of itching on me planning maybe do uh, i got a lot of games to to to, to catch up almost six years without playing anything it's 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 a little bit overwhelming and i like to play like uh, when i like a game i like to play several times uh, f not one time per year but i like to play it uh, repeatedly uh, do several runs here and there uh, but yeah the, the witcher 3 i don't know uh, we'll have to see and wait first i have to to go through from the current series already have three so we'll see how it goes but yeah um good to see that there is like the the project 2.0 um and yeah basically this is it for for this for this uh, mod uh, we will have to wait a little bit for the phantom liberty to see how it goes in terms of reviews and everything and for sure we'll see more mods like uh, so with some tweaks for sure even though uh the version of the patch or the the the, the thing is also 2.0 when it comes the, the version of the base game basically with all the patch and and tweaks and everything and all the gameplay overalls and the police and everything uh, it will also be 2.0 so don't get confused too much uh, but yeah uh, we'll see how it goes the, the, the review i think it's going to be uh, pretty good they, they've been working hard on this and they are improving a, a, a lot since since the launch of the game uh, so let's uh, wrap it up with some gaming deals uh marvel's midnight suns 60 percent off i think it's a good one i feel like kind of XCOM kind of games but with some deck building uh tweaks here and there the story seems pretty it's pretty good i watched christopher odds uh dark hunter path uh which uh, play which uh, uh it's quite interesting and how they they're going about it the, the the characters and their interactions and this kind of group comes from the comic books i think it's the midnight suns uh it's more um magic kind of a thing here but yeah uh, i pretty enjoy what i saw from the game uh also we got no man's sky if you don't have uh, uh starfield i think no man's sky is a good alternative for what you can do here and at least you don't have like lots of load don't have like loading screens when you want to uh, go from planet to outer space and everything it, it's a different way of playing uh, and of course it, it doesn't have like a lot of narrative things uh, some of the elements that uh, Bethesda is well known to do uh, but yeah it, it's a different kind of play and it's 50% off and everything all the content they've been launching is for free so it's uh, it, it, you got a lot to uh, oh and also they they managed to launch the echoes update uh, like a few days ago so I think that's why it's also on uh, on the sale here uh, but yeah a pretty good game here uh, we've got also ogre's legacy uh 30 percent off uh, i think the base game is pretty okay because uh, there is no they, they, they're not uh, going they didn't announce any dlc they're going to launch so i think it's a, a pretty good uh, um given that it was launched this year i think it's a pretty good deal here uh seems pretty good in terms of story gameplay everything that i saw seems uh, very positive as uh, the feedback from steam uh, users and lastly you got dome keeper it's like those uh, kind of a base building uh base management here uh with some road like kind of a i don't even know if it no i don't think it has road like uh, elements here uh i think you complete some runs and then you get like uh, extra challenges that you can unlock uh but it's a very kind of you, you dig for resources and then you try to upgrade the, your dome uh and uh, try to fend off waves after waves and you get some they, i think they do some challenges here from time to time for you to try out and, and uh, overcome the challenges uh, so i think it's a, a pretty good one for you to like spend like half an hour here and there you make one or two runs and uh, it, it's pretty interesting how they're going about it so 50 40 percent off and i think the deluxe editions is worth it 
it's not that much more expensive and got all the things here uh, soundtrack i think the sound i heard a little bit of the soundtrack seems pretty good and we got the, the those uh, two uh, gear packs here um but yeah basically this is it guys i'm just going to wrap up with my plug on the patreon as usual um you know the thing just it's just to help out on on things for the for maintaining the channel like uh, buying games uh, uh, maintaining my CP, uh, my cpu my pc and my prioritization is uh, building more storage because of the from the my uh, freelancer work that i do i need a lot of uh, i will start needing some storage here and of course also for the recordings and everything uh, but yeah, uh, it's just a, a thing just to some that extra help here. I, I just only have like one tier, like the, the bare minimum. Um, so I, I will try not to do that much exclusive stuff. The only thing that I might do exclusive is like time exclusivity on the content. But the rest, I always publish uh, everything um, online. I don't have any plans to do anything more than that. Uh, maybe in the future... We will see how it goes but at the moment uh, everything will be uh, at maximum time the exclusive for my for the patrons uh, but the rest will be um will be always uh, for free to watch on youtube and with all the said guys hope we have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one so until then could have me master out